gonna stuff the whole thing up. I've got uh, camo paint, spray paint. Got most of the windows in. Uh, got the windows working. And uh, got a couple wheels ordered. Going to scuff it up and then start uh, the camo. Okay, so here we are. We got the base layer. Stencil showed up today. We're getting started. Here we go. Okay. All right, so camo thing is pretty straightforward. I think the only thing that is important is uh, I only take the, take the tops, and then when I go to paint it, I'm wearing gloves, and I push down so it keeps it real tight. If you don't keep it tight, it gets real blurry. So it, it's it's pretty straightforward. Other than that, um, I'll just uh, just dust it. And then just pinch in here when you when you do it so these are tight. But this is a uh, I guess a three stencil deal, so I put down a base coat, second coat, third coat, and then I've got blades of grass for the final one. converter on it. I went ahead uh, put all new glass in it, put a roof rack on it. Um, I got new wheels, put tires on there. They're uh, 245 70 16s. Um, I did put one inch wheel spacers on it. Uh, I did a rattle can deal on this obviously. Um, I'll take it out uh, into a field and, and uh, show you how well the camo works but uh, here it is and and I'll, uh, I'll make some more videos on the extra ads and stuff I do to it. I painted the door panels camo because somebody had taken like a like a neon green or something and painted the door speaker. So I did, uh, I did all this. Okay, so all in all, I haven't done anything back here. Um, I'm going to make a uh, like a tote or something that I can put all the decoys and stuff in. I, I did make a hatch. I didn't buy glass. I made a hatch and I'm, I think I'm going to put hinges on it so it'll open up and I can get to it from there. I bought this frack on eBay. I had to assemble it. It's real cheap. It was a pain in the butt to build. Um, I did put the three inch lift kit on it. Um, after I did the three inch lift kit, I took it to get alignment done. He said that this strut was blown out and uh, the wheel bearing was no good on the other side. So I got two new struts, two new wheel bearings gonna do the front. It's supposed to notch this part of the frame right here so it doesn't hit. Um, I did not do this side. I put new tie rod ends on it, um, but uh, this side I notched and it does not hit on this side. Um, so I will get you some more videos, but I just wanted to uh, get this one all put together. All right, working on this thing seems like everything is a 10 millimeter. You can get this kit that comes with every 10 millimeter possible. Um, I'll put a link to the eBay um, ad in the description, or I guess you could probably just uh, text that phone number and um, they'll probably get you one mailed out. But uh, definitely a must. You can't have enough 10 millimeter sockets.